A strong militia is supposed to be the capital security of a free republic, not a standing army. That's how the first Secretary of War, Henry Knox, put it in his plan for organizing the militia that he recommended to President Washington. As George Mason explained, the militia is the whole people, except a few public officers. This is why Patrick Henry pointed out that the great object is that every man be armed. Why? Because the militia, sir, is our ultimate safety. We can have no security without it. So ultimately, it's up to the people themselves to be the first line of any national defense. And that's a big part of how the founders envisioned a free society.